And yesterday, Clinton responded to claims the State Department was not turning over emails fast enough. I think we have been proceeding in a timely fashion, and indeed, um, the vast majority of the uh, emails that I turned over and that uh, are being turned over by others uh, were already in the State Department system. So this is really a question for the State Department. They're the ones that are bearing the uh, the responsibility uh, to, you know, sort through these thousands and thousands of emails and uh, determine uh, at what pace uh, they can be uh, released. Uh, and uh, I, you know, I really hope that uh, it will be as quickly as possible. Not true. That last statement is just not true. Right. Well, and since she ran the State Department, couldn't she ask them to hurry up? Couldn't she just call them? You have man? a federal judge, Chuck hey. Todd, yeah. that is, is saying, is saying, what the hell is taking too long? This right. State Department, John Kerry's State Department, purposely dragging Kerry. their Very. feet. It yeah. is a slow drip by drip by drip process. And you just start with her saying at the very end that she wants them as released as quickly as possible. When a federal judge is taking on the State Department for not releasing them in a timely manner, and you sort of wind all the way back up to the top of that story that talks about some very disturbing poll numbers for Hillary Clinton. Yes, in August of 2015. Unpack this for us. Well, first of all, it's, it's a burden on the State Department because Hillary Clinton made it in the State Department. She made the choice to have the private email server. She made the choice to, uh, to do it this way. And then she dumped all this on the State Department and said, oh, no, 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 go release it in a timely fashion. Well, wait a minute. If they had been archiving in a timely fashion from the get-go, we wouldn't be in this position. So, um, and she, you know, she could have released a lot more of this now, uh, a lot sooner on her own. Um, Chuck, but again, can, can you help us, help, help us out here? Maybe you have some 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 better intel than we do. But the White House, obviously. Mm -hmm. Very disturbed by how Hillary Clinton handled her email. You talk to top people well, in the White House. They made it clear, yeah. They, they, they are angry that she mm -hmm. didn't follow the regulations. They said, we passed regulations in 2009 to make sure this didn't happen, and she deliberately ignored our regulations. She deliberately ignored direct, direct uh, orders from us. And they're very angry, and yet their State Department's dragging their feet. I, I'm, I'm trying to figure out what is the White House doing? Are they covering for Hillary Clinton even though they're angry with Hillary Clinton? We can't really sort it out. I, look, I, I can't either. I, maybe we, let's give them the benefit of the doubt. Maybe, they're, maybe they are overwhelmed with having to deal with a backlog of information that has been dumped on them. But it, at the end of the day, the reason it's taking a long time is because Hillary Clinton chose to do it out of the out of the norm out of the way it was done uh, and she can claim Their she's doing the same protocol as Colin Powell but that was uh, uh, basically a half generation ago uh, in how communications yeah. were dealt with so it, it is a it is a classic deflection and sort of confusing the matter in the moment but look it has had an impact okay it is fed a narrative you know look I've been trying to figure out what motivated her to decide to use a private server. It's very possible that her and her political team are paranoid about House Republicans and have been for years, or paranoid about transparency and have been for years, and so they said, we are going to make this as hard as possible for Congress to sort of poke around our, uh, our personal affairs, so we're going we're to do something uh, that, that hasn't been done before. We're going to try this private server route. I, you know, whatever their motivation was, it only feeds a perception that doesn't take long to be triggered with American voters. And that's what's happened here. And that would right? be the best reason they she did She triggered it. it. Yeah. That would be the best reason. Best case scenario. That's a best case scenario, and it's Which not Which is not a good, good one. No, exactly. Right.